Hey, everybody, we are live at Paste in this beautiful backyard in uh, Austin, Texas, during South by 2019 with Joshua Burnside. Man, thanks for coming and doing this. We appreciate it. Oh, thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, uh, we're all, all stoked when we were able to lock this in on, on short notice. Everyone's running around like crazy people down here, so we're stoked that uh, our crazy people running around coincided here in this backyard. Yeah, big time. It's a nice backyard as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Thank minutes. you. Um, we are, uh, so you're going to do four songs today. One of them's off the record, off of Ephrata. Three of them are not. We're going to hear a, a brand new, a world premiere right now, I think. Right, right? Can yeah. you tell us about what's coming up first? Um, so this first song's called Nothing For You. I wrote a couple of weeks ago after having a conversation with some fellow musicians and artists about how hard it is to be you know, a newcomer to this, this game, you know. And, um, it's basically about having not much money and being skinned all the time. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have nothing for you. Today my love, my wallet is empty I spent the whole lot on taxis and cigarettes And drinks in the bar Now I have nothing for you Today my love Well I have nothing for you Today my pet no oil in the tank The water I fear will be as cold as the rain That falls in December No, I have nothing for you today, my pet No, I have nothing for you today, my pet No, I have nothing for you Day, my dear, no eggs for your breakfast. The water I fear will be as cold as the rain in December. No, I have nothing for you, day, my dear. Well, I have nothing for you, my sweet darling. But if I had enough money, I'd buy you a ring, for I'm worried someday. You'll run off with the doctor Cause I had nothing for you My sweet darling Yes, I had nothing for you My sweet darling My mother before she died Told me, son If you must be a singer Well, you ought to run Down to the doll office And sign on today for that's where you'll be collecting your pay. Yes, that's where you'll be collecting your pay. Now I have nothing for you today, my love. My wallet is empty. I spent the whole lot on taxis and cigarettes and drinks in the bar. Now I have nothing for you. Today, my love, no, I have nothing for you. Today, my love. Cheers. Thank you very much. Cheers. All right, thank you, man. It sounded great. Cheers. Um, so you're here from, uh, do you live in Belfast? Or you're from Belfast, Northern Ireland. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, there are bites. I live there now, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you're an Irish fella, which is it was evident on that song. Um, and <laughs> the uh, uh, but I mean, you cited a lot of of very diverse, disparate uh, uh, influences on your music, Colombian influences, Eastern European music. Um, mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about when um, which style makes uh, makes the most sense to tell to tell the story you're after in your song? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, sort of the Colombian stuff. I I lived in Colombia for a few months and. The kind of rhythms that I was kind of picking up worked well with the kind of dramatic stories I was telling about Colombian life and Colombian poverty. And, and uh, I kind of, the stories I heard kind of resonated with me because there's a lot of, there's kind of similarities between the history of Colombia and its civil war and, and Ireland. Um, and so they kind of resonated with me. And the music reflects that in, in the country, you know, and I wanted to kind of, you know, pay like a homage to that and kind of, capture that energy you know it's, it's strange the how it's so uplifting and so positive and culturally it's just so vibrant but they have such a dark and troubled history you know like like Ireland does as well I suppose but 
Yeah, I don't know if that really answers the question at all. But. Dude, that answered the question right up the line. That was exactly the answer to the question I asked. I enjoyed it very much. Um, can we? Uh, so the second song you're going to play is off of off the album Ephrata, right? It's out in the world right now. Can you tell us about the song that's coming up next? Yeah, this song is called Hologram, and it's just a little story about a young couple who um, maybe we're in, a, we're in a relationship, you know, as teenagers, and then. Life just pulls them in different directions. One goes to university and the other stays in their hometown. And it's kind of an age-old story that I think a lot of people can maybe relate to. And how those first kind of loves, those first teenage loves, will always kind of echo throughout your life. You know, you'll always think back on that because it's so powerful. And, you know, you're, you're chock full of hormones. So you, you think you're, you're madly in love when you're just, you know, going through puberty or whatever. <laughs> it's not it's not about me. It's about someone else. <laughs> Anyway, this is how it goes. Well, I drove, led down to the edge of the lake. Where your home time shines far on the other side And I trace with my finger the streets we used to terrorize Drinking in the park Holding hands in the dark old love glows like the moon swinging low above the Atlantic and sparkles on the choppy days but I don't care what they say what if I have to dance alone well oh, far away from each other mm. well you sold your guitar cut your hair and moved off to the city and I threw out the shell the store from your windowsill mm. Still, the sword love glows like the moon swinging low above the Atlantic. Well, I fell for a hologram, but I don't give a damn. Oh, and if I have to dance alone, well, oh, la da da. That owl's timing was perfect, man. I'm glad that happened right when you're playing the last last chord. There's no doubt that that owl is in the audio. So his timing oh, like could not have been be better. Yeah, yeah. Um, that always happens at shows. I don't know why. <laughs> Owls, they love me. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, So those first two songs have sounded great solo. We're about to welcome bandmates uh, Sarah and Connor. Yeah, you guys coming up? Yeah. 
Um, is this so? What is, what is the instrumentation? What does the arrangement look like when you guys play? I mean, you're playing a ton of shows at South by, including uh, the one on Friday at the Victorian Room at the Driscoll Hotel. Um, what does the instrumentation look like when people see you at a live show versus what you're doing here in the backyard um, today? Yeah, so we would have like um, a full kit. Connor today is uh, kind of got like this kind of weird collection of things he's trying to make sound like a drum kit which i'm sure the sound guy's doing an incredible job of doing hopefully <laughs> yes bob is nodding yes and uh then we have trumpet and we have a bass guitarist and i would normally play electric and kind of rock out a wee bit more in the, in the live gigs but um we have a few shows coming up where we've kind of made the band even larger and we've added an extra guitarist a cellist and a double bassist and and we recorded a, a live album there in december and with that ensemble there was you know six of us on stage and that was that was really fun you know cool yeah. Is that what, and we can, we can talk about the the North American date, the U.S. dates, right? Yeah, so yeah, we're hoping to come over in September and play a few dates kind of around the East Coast area, starting in New York. Nice, good. Well, travel safely for all of them. Hopefully everyone who's watching the stream right now is able to, to check them out. They'll all be up at joshuaburnside.com um, as they're announced. Um, and so you got, you're about to play a cover next, right? Can you tell us why, why this cover, why it um, resonated with you? Well... This song is called I Don't Want to Know by John Martin. Um, it's kind of a hero of mine. And the album is from Solid Airs. It's kind of one of, one of the most important kind of, um, like the original alt-folk album, I'd say. Sometimes people would say I was alt-folk. And I think he was like one of the first dudes in England to be kind of still labeled as folk, but just so going so far away from what that means, you know, um, and bringing in jazz and blues and funk and all sorts of stuff, and that really inspired me. And this song is just a, it's a real groovy beat, you know, and it's just a real nice kind of tune for this uh, groovy day. <laughs> 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 um, yeah. Does that make any sense? I don't know. <laughs> That's hypnotized And I don't want to know about evil Only want to know about love I don't want to know one thing about evil Only want to know about love
you very much. All right, thank you all. That sounded great. Um, and we've got we got a bonus song today. You're going to play a fourth. And there was somebody. There's a literary reference here, which I probably didn't write down. It wasn't James Joyce, but it was um, uh, the other good Irish one. <laughs> Go on. Don't not put me on the spot in you terms do, of literary man. heroes. It's, uh, it's a reference to a short story, well, a children's story by Oscar Wilde. Thank you. And some of the lyrics reference that. Um, and uh, yeah, so, uh, the story was called uh, The Happy Prince, not The Little Prince. Easily mixed up. Yeah, the song's called Northern Winds. And it goes like this. Well, the night will it retreats and the devil tide is signed to sleep. Million tiny moths float, flutter, and fall. And headlights flow along a dog's dark gums. And way. Down in the valley, the trees where they creak and groan, and whisper with the northern winds. Say, Go on home now, go on home. Golden armor 
to share. Thank you very much, guys. Cheers. Thanks again for having me. All right, Joshua, thank you, man. That was that was outstanding. Sarah, thank you. Connor, thank you. It sounded great. And um, have, a, have a great show on Friday night. That's at the Victorian Room at the Driscoll Hotel in Austin, in case you're just joining us. All the dates are up at joshuaburnside.com and soon to be the dates, the, the uh, U.S. dates in September. So travel safely through all of them. And thanks again for coming and playing in the backyard here with us. We appreciate it very much. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you.